What's going on everybody, it's AG here. It's time for a new episode of Last 5, where I review and rank the last 5 movies that I watch. Some may be streaming, some may be in theaters, but either way I'm going to rank those 5 in order of how I liked them. So without further ado, let's get started. Before we get completely started here today though, do me a favor and hit that big ol' red subscribe button down below that when I post more movie, sports, and gaming, you'll be the first one to know about it. So, these five, there's a few newcomers to this list, there's a few first time watches for me, and a couple of those first time watches actually cracked my top 100 movies of all time. They shocked me, I'm gonna be honest with you. But, we've got three newcomers and we got two movies that I've seen before, but let's go ahead and get to it. So coming in first here, at number five, I've got Champions. Champions, like I said, new Woody Harrelson movie. It's streaming now on Peacock. Kind of a feel-good movie, and you know what you're going to get with this movie. Nothing spectacular, nothing bad, nothing great, but overall, you know, kind of average, a feel-good movie of sorts. You know, that typical kind of movie. And that's kind of all there was here. There wasn't much more to the story, and I wasn't expecting much going in, but I was hoping for a little more. So coming in at number five, I've got Champions. Then coming in at number four, I've got The Raven. This was a rewatch for me. The Raven, starring John Cusack as Edgar Allan Poe. This is an interesting mystery. I watched this about, I don't know, 10 years ago in theaters, whenever this came out. Maybe It might be more than 10 years at this point, I don't know. But I watched this in theaters and kind of forgot about it a little bit, but when I came across it on Hulu, I was like, oh yeah, I'll watch that again. And it was overall solid, you know, nothing spectacular. It's got a su surprising cast that I kind of forgot who was in it, you know, I forgot, oh yeah, he's in this movie, I think uh, Luke Evans is in this movie, which I completely forgot he's in, he was even in this movie, but overall a solid film, but nothing spectacular here, uh, it's worth a watch, but is it worth a rewatch? Probably not, but at number four, The Raven. Coming in at number three, a first time watch for me, The Wrestler, and I've been putting off watching this movie for about, I don't know, 15, 20 years now, it's always been a thought in my head to watch this movie, because I'm personally a big wrestling fan, and I know this was an outstanding performance from Mickey Rourke, you know, was in Oscar consideration, this movie, and him himself, and this movie was fantastic, I'm going to be honest with you, this is one of the ones that I was saying is automatically in my top 100 movies of all time, this is a tough watch, it's a brutal watch to basically watch the career of a wrestler and a fighter, uh, when they're way past their prime, you know, trying to cling on to what they had and what they put their body through. But basically this is him trying to, no pun intended, wrestle with, do I still chase my career that I love wrestling or do I try to fix my broken family? And overall, this movie really stuck with me. Fantastic movie. If you haven't watched it yet, go ahead and check it out. Number two, another first time watch for me, 13 Lives. And 13 Lives is basically like a diving survival movie. So basically these 13 kids, it's based on a true story by the way, but these 13 kids, that's where the name comes from, 13 Lives. These 13 kids go in this cave and get trapped because it starts pouring down rain and the cave floods. So they have to enlist the help from these divers, which this actually had a bigger cast than I was expecting. Uh, it's directed by Ron Howard, by the way, and he's always excellent, but had a bigger cast than I was expecting. It's got Viggo Mortensen, uh, you may remember from Lord of the Rings. Colin Farrell, he's in the Batman as the Penguin, and he's in a bunch of other movies too. And then Joel Egerton, had a bigger cast than I was expecting. But anyways, though they called them in, uh, mainly Colin Farrell and Viggo Mortensen, to come in as divers from, they're from different countries, they're not from the country where uh, they're doing the diving. But basically they're trained, they're not professional, they're unpaid, but they're professional uh, divers of sorts. They basically go save people if they need to dive underwater and uh like think like scuba but like they're basically diving underwater to try to go save these kids in this tunnel and this was an outstanding movie this is more than even in my top 100 i'd have to re-rank my top 100 to know exactly where but this is probably in the top 50 at least uh i didn't know what to expect going into this movie i was like oh yeah i'll throw it on give it a watch i've heard about it and looked interesting enough but I was glued to the screen on the edge of my seat this whole movie. It's it's an intense ride from start to finish. And it if you're not even if you're not like a scuba diver or underwater a lot, it makes you oof, it is intense. Like 
they're going through these tight spaces, trying to get through different spots. And you're like, man, it, it just makes you, you know, cringe a little bit. And, uh, like think, Oh man, you know, it just makes you cringe a little bit, but an outstanding movie, 13 lives. It's on Amazon prime now. And then coming in at number one, not a rewatch for me. I've seen this movie, you know, however many times at this point, but always a classic, the silence of the lambs, one of the best movies of all time. Hannibal Lecter, Anthony Hopkins is Hannibal Lecter. You got Clarice Starling. You got Buffalo Bill, which he's got some issues in his own mind. But Hannibal Lecter, one of the greatest characters of all time in one of the greatest movies of all time. This movie's endlessly rewatchable. I can watch this movie every day and never get tired of it. So let me know the last five movies that you watch down in the comment section below. Also, do me a favor. Go ahead, rank them. You know, rank. How you like those? How you would rank those five movies that you watched, or if it's three movies, ten movies, two movies, whatever. Just go ahead and rank them down in the comment section below. Let me know what you watch. And as always, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. That way, we're gonna post more movie, sports, and gaming. You'll be the first one to know about it. Until next time, AG out.